Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Taurus. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of November 18th through the 24th. We're just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind, this reading may not be for you. I can't read for every single person. Take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? And the timing is still fluid. But this is geared for the week of November 18th through the 24th. What do we have for Taurus, please? Angel of Strength. Now, Cancer got this, and Leo got this, and you got this. So I'm not sure if you're dealing with those people, but there's a lack of strength. There's a need to be strong. You may be feeling weak this week. You may be lacking confidence. You're going to need to find your confidence and your courage to persevere through something, okay? You have it within you, and all you got to do is ask for it. Just ask. It's like there's a, an angel waiting to assist you. You're going to be dealing with some adversity this week, okay? You are. You could be dealing with a Leo or a Cancer, just saying. Um, definitely dealing with some adversity. Fives are adversity, conflict, change, choices. And you're going to need to find your strength and your courage to make the right choice about whatever change is happening in your life at this time. Okay? Taurus. What do we got for Taurus? What do we have for Taurus for, for this week ahead? Well, we got a few. I guess we're going to take them. Ha 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 so funny. Turkey. Someone is behaving stupidly. I wonder who that is. Somebody is behaving stupidly. Wind chimes. Peace and harmony. Tiger. Doing something risky. Taking a chance. So you're going to be taking a chance there, Taurus. Spear. Heartache over what you no longer have. So you're going to be experiencing some heartache. By the looks of things. Vase. A secret admirer. Yay. And tulip. Great passion. Great passion. So you're passionate about something this week. Very, very passionate. I think that you're going to be taking a chance. You're going to be doing something very risky. You know, you may be showing your teeth. Just saying. You may be showing your teeth this week. There's a good chance of it. Um, it's all about peace and harmony, right? It is. It really is. It's all about peace and harmony. Um, somebody's not acting very wisely. Someone's behaves, behaving stupidly. There's some sort of heartache. Somebody is feeling a lot of pain. Stabbed right in the heart, perhaps. Somebody is. Somebody's feeling stabbed in the heart. You also have a secret, admi secret admirer. You're probably looking very, very good. That's a, that's that's a thing of this card. You're probably looking really good. Somebody is is admiring you. What do we got, Taurus? Looks like somebody's licking their lips. Um, could be you though. Hmm. Taurus. What do we got? What do we have for the 18th through the 24th? I love it. Seven of Swords. Somebody is shady. We got a shady individual here who is probably watching you. This person is watching you. Could be your secret admirer. Could be somebody who wants to come back. It's like they left something and they want to come back. I don't know who this person is. This doesn't have to be your secret admirer. This could be a snake. The snake in the, gra in the grass. This is somebody who is deceptive. They're a thief of some sort. This person um, has ill intentions by the looks of things. It's like they just want to have it all. 
very greedy. We have a selfish individual here, so be careful. This person is hiding behind the scenes, watching, waiting for the moment to pounce. Be careful. Be really, really careful. Ten of Wands. So this is burdened. Somebody is overwhelmed and burdened. Carrying something. Holding on to too much. Got a heavy weight. Heavy weight on their back. Now the star reversed. This is a la losing hope. And maybe that's why you need to have strength. This is a lack of hope. A lack of faith. A lack of believing. Somebody is losing hope in a situation. Or has lost hope. But you're right in your element, aren't you there, Taurus? You are. You're stable. You're solid. You're secure. You're devoted. You're down to earth. You have the... You have the... Uh, stability that you need. You have everything you need. You're in your element. You may be going through some sort of transformation. It's a very fertile time. I think that you're going to receive a message from somebody... Somebody is definitely, uh, I do think that you do have a secret admirer. It's like you're looking really good. So down to earth. You're stable. This is stability. You know your value. This is the queen of value, the queen of of. Worth, self-worth. Hmm. There's some sort of competition. There's a competition going on here. There's a fight. There's a battle. Somebody is battling. And they're feeling very overwhelmed by this battle, by this fight. There's somebody that is a, that is a thief, that is a liar, that is a snake. And they may have some tricks up their sleeve. And they probably think that they are going to get away with it. Reluctant to take a new approach. Reluctant to move. This person is troubled. Very, very troubled. Doesn't want somebody to move. Doesn't want somebody to move on. Clinging to control. We got somebody up here that has ill intentions. That is clinging to control. Refusing to let the wheel of fate spin. Putting their, their foot in the wheel and trying to stop it from happening. Somebody is trying to stop something from happening. This person has ill intentions. Could be Leo. This did come out reversed. This is a coward. Ego. Pride. Doesn't have to be a Leo. But there's definitely somebody here that has some tricks up their sleeve. They're clinging to control. But they're going to get bad luck. Because under them, this is bad luck and this is karma. Bad luck and karma right here underneath this person that is shady and sneaky and a liar and a thief. So whoever this person is going to get a run of bad luck. They're a liar. You got a liar among you. They don't tell the truth. You seriously got somebody around you that is a complete liar. You may be fighting with this person, and it's overwhelming, right? It's too much. It is overwhelming. It is. This isn't what you hoped for, right? This is never what you hoped for. No, you didn't hope for this to happen. This is not what you wanted to happen. But somebody has been refusing to see the truth. They've been in denial. They've been refusing to tell the truth, okay? They've been living in a period of darkness. We may have somebody here that has divided loyalty. Somebody has been blocking their emotions, blocking the truth. But this is headed towards victory and success. This is from darkness to light. Victory and success. If you're losing hope, you need to have faith. 
You need to believe because this is victory and success. You're, you are going to be victorious. This is victory after going through a war zone. This is this is facing the war, making it to the end. Yes, you're probably going to go through a war zone. I can see it happening. But this is victory at the end of it. So this is victory. Somebody has been avoiding the truth, not telling the truth. But you have the resources, you have the stability, you have the security, you have everything that you need to be successful. Thank you, God. Thank you. That's all that I can say. I'm sorry. This, this right here is very, a very self-sufficient individual. The storm is over. This is getting the golden opportunity. I think that you are going to get the opportunity that you are worried about. You may be, this is a wish being granted, even though you may have some sort of fear that it isn't going to be granted. I think that your wish is going to be granted because you're stable, you're solid, you're secure. You have all the resources to provide. This is a very independent person who is enjoying life and has everything they need to survive. This person knows their value is very valuable. Everybody can see this person's stability. It's clear. Very down to earth and grounded energy. Very stable. This stability that you have is going to lead you to victory. But it's after sorrow because that is the symbol of a wreath. Victory after sorrow. So yes, you may have been through some war zone or you may be going through some war zone where somebody is trying to block your success and you may be losing hope. But I'm telling you that you have the skills and the resources to be successful. And maybe that's why you need to find the strength to not give up. Somebody may have been abandoned. This is abandonment. We have the end of difficulty here in this card and this card. A difficult situation is coming to an end. You may have been in a power struggle with somebody else. I think this power struggle is about to come to an end. This is coming out of the darkness. It is. It's the end of a difficult situation. Something is coming. It's the end of a conflict. Okay? It is. Fives are conflict. They are. About change. You are dealing with somebody that is dishonest and, and untruthful. They're a liar. They're trying to stop somebody. They're clinging to control. But they're going to get bad luck and bad karma for their actions, for their deeds, for their lies. Okay, they are. Their lies are going to come out and they're going to get caught. This person is untrustworthy. They are a bully. They are a liar. They're abusive. Somebody could get really mad at this person, get really, really upset. Somebody had hidden agendas. They were keeping secrets. They may have put another person in some sort of repression. They definitely weren't seeing a situation clearly because, you know, they wanted to cling to control so bad. That wheel of fortune reversed. It's like this cycle is meant to come to an end. And when you stop the wheel of fate, <laughs> you're going against the script. You're going against the written script. The high priest just holds the script. And somebody is trying to go against the plan. They're trying to go against the script with their, their hidden agendas, their secrets, their lies, their deception, their, their wrongdoings. They're using their power in the wrong way. Keeping somebody trapped in a troubled situation. There is some sort of conflict here. Abandonment 5-5. Five, five. Expect the unexpected. Things are about to change. Even though somebody's trying to stop it from changing with that Wheel of Fortune reverse, they're doing everything in their power to get it to not change. But somebody is becoming overwhelmed. I feel as though 
somebody is starting to feel dissatisfied. They don't want somebody to relocate, but there's no more growth here. There's no fertility here. There's a, it's time to pack up and leave. It's just unrealistic. It's unrealistic. Somebody may be going home. They may be moving homes, going to some place where it's more stable. Somebody is going to be receiving something that is solid and stable and secure and could last for the next 10 years. Long-term stability. So this is long-term stability. So it's the end of an unstable situation. It is. Somebody could be moving homes. This is, this is a change. This is the end of a family dynamic which leads you to something more abundant. This is, this is having it all abundantly. Maximum abundance here. This one is too. It's like you're going to be receiving some sort of gift that, it, that you can actually hold on to. You asked for it. <laughs> you saw it. The answer is yes. It shall be yours. So that's, that's what I got to say about this. So it looks as though you, this is as above, so below. This is being willing to do whatever it takes to bring success. Finding the resources, using the resources wisely, just doing whatever it takes to bring success, and you are going to have success. So I can see that you have been very, very worried. You probably haven't been sleeping good. Nights have been absolutely terrible. But your worries are about to fade away. There, I think that the worries, you know, your gut has been telling you that something isn't right. And you are correct. Something isn't right. This is your gut telling you. that somebody that doesn't have good intentions. You are correct. But I think that you are going to prevail. You're making progress and you are headed towards uh, something very, very abundant. It's like they're bringing you something. You've manifested something. You have manifested something big. Look at this. This is manifestation. We got a pentacle here, a pentacle here, a pentacle here. You have manifested something Solid, secure, stable. You're going to be receiving something, Taurus, this week. Something that you asked for. If you have been losing hope, I'm here to tell you to have faith. This war zone that you have been in or that you are about to go through, there is a purpose, there is a reason you will prevail. Good luck. So if you have a yes or no question, the answer is yes. The magician upright is yes. You are going to get what you asked for. <laughs>